In this video, I'm going to talk about why the number one is the most dangerous number in business, why you need to move away from that, and why you need to create multiple streams of income in order to be successful. So watch the video, like, subscribe, comment, and keep watching. This is the next episode of the Money Management Series, and today I'll be focusing on multiple streams of income. In the last video, I talked about tax. Tax is an important issue, but I'm not gonna cover that today. Uh, click on the series and go through tax. It's important and I'll show you how you can manage your taxes better in your business uh, so that you, are, you always have money to pay your taxes on time. But today, we're focusing on multiple streams of income. Now the problem is, most business owners, generally speaking, only have one source of income. Uh, and I've said this many times before in the past, that the number one is the most dangerous number in business. And the reason for that is this, if you have one key employee, one key or big or main customer or client, one particular way of generating leads, one particular source of income, all of these things and anything else that relies on one or so only one key product, if that doesn't work too well, you are in problems. Because let's think about it, you've got one key uh, team member, they leave uh, and your business relies on them, you're stuck. You've got one source of income, let's just say Google pay per click uh, and all of a sudden they increase their charges for the, for the uh, keywords that you use and now you're paying two or three times as much and you can't afford to pay two or three times as much uh, to get the same number of leads, you have a problem. Uh, and the same uh, applies to having one source of income. Uh, so in terms of managing your money better, managing your business better, you've got to work on having two or more different streams of income. Uh, now, the popular one and the one I talk about most is property. I think that's a fantastic way of generating additional income. Uh, that might not be to your taste or to your liking, so you can think about having something else. But think about having another source of income. What you can also do is, and this isn't that hard to do, it requires a bit of thinking, look at your business, look at what your customers or, or your clients or your patients want, and then think, what else can you supply to them, which wouldn't take you much effort, possibly, but your customers and your clients or your patients are willing to buy from you. Uh, so that, that way you turn one business into two businesses. So by way of example, my first business that I started was accountancy. Uh, and after a few years of having made loads of mistakes, I soon realized that one of the things that business owners want from their accountant is business advice. And one thing accountants don't offer is business advice uh, because accountants are, are good at preparing the compliance work so that the tax returns, the VAT returns, the personal uh, returns, the uh, payroll, VAT returns and accounts. But they don't focus that much on helping their clients with business planning, business growth, profitability, that type of stuff. Uh, so I started focusing on that and what I realized was a lot of my clients wanted those services. So all of a sudden then, one business, which was just accountancy, turned into two business, which became accountancy and coaching stroke mentoring. So that's one example of how, how you can turn one business into two businesses. Uh, and now I've got five different businesses with five streams of income. So I don't rely on any one customer, I don't rely on one team member, one source of income. Uh, and generally speaking, uh, your first business, depending on how well it's doing, it's going to fund your lifestyle to some extent. I mean, if you're making a high six figure uh, income, then it does more than obviously fund your lifestyle. But let's say you're making 50,000 uh, pounds, by way of example, from one business. That's probably just about going to uh, fund your lifestyle, depending on your lifestyle in terms of uh, the house you've got, personal expenditure, if you've got kids at private school, for example, if you drive big fancy cars going, loads of holidays, wear expensive clothes, for example, that 50,000 pounds isn't going to get you very, very far. But if you have a second business now that generates 
another say 30,000 pounds and you're living comfortably or managing to live on say 50,000 pounds then the additional 30,000 pounds now is money that you can use either to have an even better lifestyle or what I would suggest is use that 30,000 pounds now to invest either in your first business or reinvest in your second business or invest it in property, stocks, shares or somewhere else so that generates you even more income so the 50,000 pounds uh, you use for your day-to-day -day living expenses the 30,000 pounds you just keep reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting and that pot's going to grow pretty quickly uh, due to the effect of compounding so I seriously suggest that you used in terms of having being better at managing money and better at attracting money in your business and your life think about having multiple streams of income and don't stop at two by the way think of three four and five uh, it's the same effort believe it or not I can tell you from experience the same effort that you need to run one business to run two three four or five the only difference is when you're running three four or five you're going to be more focused on time management, on self-management, meetings, getting things done, all those daily interruptions. They, you're going to be forced to kill them, but you still got the same number of hours per day, per week. You're just going to be laser focused or more focused on getting the same amount of work done that you did from one business, but this time you're doing it for two, three, four or five or more businesses uh, and you'll be more productive, you'll become better at delegating, you'll become better at being a leader and a, and a manager. So seriously think about having a second source of income or additional source of income. It really is going to transform your business, your personal life, your profits, the way that you run a business and for your personal development and how you manage people. It's going to be a total game changer and I am going to record some more videos on having multiple streams of income because I think it's exceptionally important. I will create a series but for now if you like this video click like uh, and also subscribe so we can keep you updated with new content. Also post a comment in terms of any questions you may have if you're looking to start a business or uh, if you have a business and you've got any challenges there or you're looking to set up a second business and you want some advice I'm ha happy to do that. Also post comments on any type of content you want so I can focus on that uh, rather than obviously sharing content that I think you may like. Uh, and the next video uh, I am going to be talking about another concept in terms of money management which is extremely important and that's about money mindset. That's probably the most important video in this whole series in my view apart from budgeting so watch that the next video on money mindset and hopefully that's going to encourage you to start seeing things differently